Hey guys, in this video let us see the capacity of mathematical models. So let's begin with understanding the correlation between business intelligence and mathematical models. Business intelligence system provides decision makers with information and knowledge extracted from data through the application of mathematical models and algorithms. Calculations of totals and percentages graphically represented by simple histograms, whereas more elaborate analyses require the development of advanced optimization and learning models. Adoption of a business intelligence system tends to promote a scientific and rational approach to the management of enterprises and complex organizations. Need for the mathematical models Even after the use of a simple spreadsheet to estimate the effects of fluctuations in interest rates on the budget, decision makers tend to generate a cognitive representation of the financial flows process. Standard scientific disciplines, such as physics, have always chose mathematical models for the abstract representation of real systems. Mathematical model is nothing but the prototyping of a real system using observations that occur frequently. The model need not to be physical one. It can be a software where rigorous computations and calculations take place under some well-defined parameters by default. Other fields, such as operations research, have instead used the application of scientific methods and mathematical models to the study of artificial systems. For example, public and private organizations. Rational approach of a bi-analysis can be summarized schematically in the following main characteristics. First, the objectives of the analysis are identified. The performance indicators that will be used to evaluate alternative options are defined. Mathematical models are then developed by exploiting the relationships among system control variables, parameters, and evaluation metrics. Finally, what if analyses are carried out to evaluate the effects on the performance determined by variations in the control variables and changes in the parameters? The implementation of mathematical models also offer many other advantages. The development of an abstract model forces decision makers to focus on the main features of the analyzed domain. Thus building a deeper understanding of the phenomenon under investigation. The knowledge about the domain acquired when building a mathematical model can be more easily transferred in the long run to other individuals within the same organization thus allowing a sharper preservation of knowledge in comparison to first-hand decision-making processes. Finally, a mathematical model developed for a specific decision-making task is so general and flexible that in most cases it can be applied to other consequent situations to solve problems of similar type. 
I guess that's enough about the introduction to mathematical models. Watch again if you want. Try to understand the content written and spoken. This video was only about the concept of mathematical model. We have not seen any actual model in it, but have taken a trip through the basic idea of it. Each variable in this real world has got some value, some measure, some function, hence can be calculated using numbers, statistics, etc. Since everything is so calculative, we can have mathematical models for every system in this universe. Do like, share our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for new informative IT videos.